Now, as our population who are traveling is getting older, because it's older people who have most of the money, in case you didn't know, in fact, 65% of all the wealth of America and the UK, at least 65%, is owned by those over the age of 65. But this particular age group also have problems with their vision, and they have problems reading menus. It's not just uh, business travelers reading uh, um, uh, uh, the, the, the symbols on the phone. It's, uh, it's just about everything else as well. And yet we find when we go into a restaurant, <laughs> so the menus are so small that you need your reading glasses to read them. How insane is that? I'll tell you why it is. Because the people who design menus are 22-year-old people in a print shop. And they have no idea about what it's like to be over the age of 45 and need glasses. Should you have to read glasses? Use, use glasses to read a menu in a restaurant? Crazy. These restaurants are discriminating against the very people that they're trying to market to. It's a little odd. And remember these older people, they may look like they're 65, but they have a physical age of 50, and they have a mental age of 40. In fact, sometimes they feel like a 35-year-old. So we need to treat them with care and, and respect, and be very careful about the assumptions we make. Older people are looking for quality, comfort, convenience, security. They're looking for easy, reliable transport and transfers. They're looking for relaxing leisure and entertainment facilities. And remember, an increasing number of them are on their own. In fact, if you look at those who are over the age of 80, and an increasing number of people are over the age of 80 who are travelling, you'll find the majority of them are single. And uh, therefore, we need to think about the single traveller and the needs of a single traveller. Watch out in in other new trends for tra travel and tourism. Watch out for medical tourism, massive growth area. One million health-related visits to Thailand in the last 12 months. 150,000 to India alone. Extraordinary, amazing opportunities.